Hey guys, this is uh, Tikaza in Roblox Studio. I don't know if you guys heard of the fractal called Dragon's Curve. This is what's uh, uh, displaying at the moment, what I'm printing out. Basically, all it's doing is it's taking a, let's just say, a line, and then all I'm doing is just copying that line, rotating it 90 degrees, and then printing it out. Basically, if I actually go to Photoshop, I'll show you what I mean. So to start with, we're creating a line. Oh, let's actually create a layer first. And uh, you, wrong one. <laughs> Bear with me a few seconds. It's been a while since I've made uh, done something in Photoshop. Uh, new layer. Where are you? That would do. So basically, that's the same. We're just doing a line, and then we're copying that line. So if I duplicate that and we're rotating it around 90 degrees from the point like so apply kind of like that and then we're copying both of those things let's actually join those together let's actually link those now do 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 link then duplicate both and then all I'm doing then is rotating that through 90 degrees or should I say I'm going to actually rotate it from that corner basically like that kind of thing and then it's copying the whole thing again and then rotating it around this point here which is off the screen so that's basically what all it's doing and the end result as you can see here <laughs> I got the idea of actually doing this was from a, another YouTube video uh, from the channel called uh, I think it's number file basically they showed a the actual uh, the mathematics behind it and how to do it in sort of on a computer so I've taken that idea and made it in Roblox if you like. So if you like, if I can talk you through the uh, the actual code itself. So basically I'm starting with a point and an end point, in other words that line if you like. Then I'm creating a brick on the fly. At the moment it's, uh, this does not, it's not been called until I actually uh, call it down below for the line actually being printed out. Then for every single step that we do that we take, in this case I've got 15 steps, which is here. I go through the angle, the brick colour I think that is, and the starting step or the starting point. I think that's how it goes. Um, well, I might not actually use that. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a little it's been a couple of days since I've programmed this so I'll just sort of revisiting if you if you like so yeah so I'm putting every single object inside a table and then copying that table and rotating it 90 degrees as you can see here this angle is 90 degrees and then rotate rotate it around the point the start point to get what you see here basically if you continue the uh, steps you I think 15 is uh, sort of the max that you can do on well on my computer for within the space of five minutes if you go any more steps than 15 steps you better wait a few hours for it to uh, depending on how many steps you add or it could even be days months years whatever <laughs> All it would do is just repeat this pattern uh, forever or for how many steps you've got. So for every single step it's copying the table that it had before or the lines that it had before like if I go back to better shop basically let's just say that's the table the two lines it's copying that again so it may lag down the computer quite a lot if you go past 15 uh, steps anyway I thought I uh, 
let you guys uh, know what I've been doing on my pastime of doing my long time project or long time game if you like. This has been Tigaza in Roblox Studio on a quick one and I'll catch you guys later. Tigaza signing out.